Happy Wednesday. This is Mike here from Lab Society, and we're here in the R&D lab, and we're going to go over how to set up the benchtop SPD from the ground up today. So we're going to start with a 20 liter SPD mantle. Um, these are our new G3, G3X series mantles with the CSA listing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and orient this in a specific way so that I have the proper rod clamps where I need them. So there's three on our 20 liters. There's one here, one here, and one here. The reason for that is so that you can potentially add an extra support over here if you would like to have something else holding onto your system or for systems that actually will cut um, the system in half and run raceway style distillation heads. So you actually will have two heads in parallel. Um, so today we're gonna set it up for a singular head because we're gonna be doing some R&D on some of our reactor head series that we designed a few years back but haven't really done much with. We're gonna set it up so that we have two of the rod clamps here and the power port on the side. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my table clamp which comes with all of our systems and I'm gonna mount it on the table so that it's in line with the two rod clamps on the back side of the mantle. So my goal is that this is somewhat in the center of the table here. So right about there looks good. For this system, I'm going to use, I have three, I have four really long rods and one short one. Probably for this size system, we're gonna want all big ones. But for now, I'm gonna start with this one off to the right side. And go ahead and install this onto the table clamp. Take my two vertical rods and install them onto the mantle. Um, you're gonna want to set the height depending on what size system you're setting up. So with a five liter system, we might actually have this touching the table, um, but for a 20 liter, I'm gonna set it a little bit higher. It looks like about an inch from the bottom of the mantle to the top to where the rod starts. Um, make sure you get these nice and tight. Another thing you can do is actually use a wrench to tighten these down, but you don't want to over tighten them because it is aluminum and you don't want to strip it. I'm going to set this one at the same height. This step could be somewhat tedious, but better to spend time on it one time and have your system set up properly so that you can constantly use it and not have to play with it. That's usually my objective whenever I'm doing these types of things. So now that I've got my mantle rods connected and my table rod connected, it's time to connect the cross members. So the cross members would be described as the ones that actually lay across the system to add that lateral support. We're gonna make sure everything is parallel, perpendicular if it's gonna be obviously crossing. Um, and for this part, you may wanna use a level, especially if this is your first time. Um, the more level and structurized, structuralized your system is, the better usage you're going to have out of it and, and the less you're going to have to play with it. So um, for today, I actually don't have the two of the full length rods because this is my R&D lab. <laughs> so instead we're going to use two rods to make the full length, which is another you know mini hack if you uh, obviously don't have all the different parts in your lab and you are doing upgrades throughout the years. So first I'm going to start with the full lateral. I'm gonna be using these perpendicular rod clamps. These are really nice because they keep the rods really close together. I'm gonna go ahead and place these in the same direction on the system. Do one near the top so that I can support my vapor temp monitors and all that kind of stuff. Do that right there. You may also set these to at the table. It really just depends on how high your system's going to be, depending on what type of assembly you're going to be doing. I'm just estimating here, not exact. Next, I'm going to put in my cross member. I want to mount it to the two that are on the mantle first before the, the one that's actually on the table because the one that's on the table I can use to slide the system back and forth. So the first thing is I want to make sure that this is nice and perpendicular and everything's nice and parallel. 
It looks like they're in a little bit. So I'll attach my cross member to the table rod. Nicely assembled. So now that we've got a pretty good looking structurally sound setup we're already it's already significantly stronger than I when I first put it on the table so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the second ones in and there's no there's no mandatory way to do this again um, in all reality people are gonna have different setups depending on what they do with their system what how big it is what different glassware there's a million different ways to do this there's no wrong way the wrong way would be actually not tightening the clamps appropriately, anything involving the setup to be potentially compromised. That would be the wrong thing to do. <laughs> so making sure that these are nice and parallel so that I get good structural support again. Cool. All right, so now that I've got two cross members in place, and I've got one going all the way across. My system's actually quite strong as it is. So again, this is an instructional video. If you're setting up one of our G3, G3X kits, you're gonna have two of these, or you're gonna have two of this size going fully across, and your table clamp, or your table rod will actually go all the way up. A couple other things I would do is, I can go ahead and set up the clamp for my condenser. Um, I know that my condenser is gonna sit approximately around the system here, so on the vertical, I'll go ahead and put in this clamp in preparation for to hold on to my condenser and support it. Another one I can put on is for my secondary condenser slash secondary receiver, distribution receiver over here. And again, these are just estimations. We'll move these around when we actually set up the whole system. Then an additional for my vacuum. And then if we have any other accessories, I mean, I've got this nifty um, t uh, rod mount lab jack. We sell these. These things are fantastic. They're very fine to adjust, and they do a really good job of adding support to your system. So and that pretty much concludes setting up the system. At this point, you know, you can choose to add other cross members on. You can do all sorts of different things. So something I might do to this system is add another one right here just so I've got the full support, or I could add it lower. I can do whatever I want. And that will conclude today's Hump Day Hack.